throws out a laser through here, waits for the sensor to catch it here, and then it can measure the distance. Now this thing can measure 8,000 times a second, which is just absolutely phenomenal. And you can control how fast the motor would spin, thus controlling the resolution that you're seeing. So if you're spinning slower, obviously you're gonna get a lot more resolution. If you're spinning faster, you get a little bit less resolution. Hey, what's up guys? And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a new product which is called the RP LiDAR. Now this is a 360 degree laser scanner development kit and this was provided to me by Seed. It's the 12 meter range version. So it's the RP LiDAR A1M8 and you might say, oh no, this is the eight meter range. Well, this is a beefed up version from Seed.com and I'll leave a link to them down below. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is taking a quick rundown, seeing what it comes with and in the later episodes, we'll get into the development and how to use this and how to set this up. So let's take a look here. So obviously the packaging looks absolutely beautiful here as expected and let's see what's this. So here we get a paper and this tells you how to connect it to your PC to begin some sort of use or development and uh, we'll see that in a later episode. We also get our connector here which is really nice to have as well. So let's put these to the side and let's take a look what's it, what else is inside. All right and now we have the main module itself. Now it's called the RP LiDAR 360 degree version because as you can tell it spins right here. So it spins via this DC motor and this DC motor takes anywhere between 5 volts and 9 volts and the power for this motor is provided through Vmoto which is the voltage for the motor and Moto CTL is to control the motor which is controlled via PWM and obviously we have ground 5 volt TX and RX to communicate with the main module here and we have another ground pin so it's very simple to use very straightforward there isn't really much programming needed for such a thing because it just relays the data for you through the serial port and we'll get into that in a later video and it's just very smooth here so the way this works is it works with laser triangulation so it throws out laser through here waits for the sensor to catch it here and then it can measure the distance now this thing can measure 8,000 times a second, which is just absolutely phenomenal. And you can control how fast the motor would spin, thus controlling the, the resolution that you're seeing. So if you're spinning slower, obviously you're gonna get a lot more resolution. If you're spinning faster, you get a little bit less resolution. So the build quality looks absolutely phenomenal. And let's get this weight because it's weight I believe is very important, especially if you're gonna be dropping one of these on a quadcopter of some sort for autonomous flight. So let's go ahead and take its measurements here and it weighs 213 grams, which is pretty good, but it's it's pretty heavy as well. But you know, you're not gonna be putting this on a small mini quadcopter. You might be putting on such a hex or octocopter or something with at least 10 inch propellers. So let's see what else is in the box before we continue on with this here. All right, and we get this last piece here, which is really nice to have actually. This is a USB connection, so you can immediately start programming or just seeing how well how this thing is actually going to work. It's remarkable that you can get something like this for only $99. It's just pretty insane here. And this is a very reliable uh, distance sensing module here. Compared to our older previous generation modules, which these used to work by ultrasound, which one would throw out the sound and wait for the second one to pick up that sound and then it could measure the distance. However, this was very unreliable because if you come in at an angle, the sound would hit this, hit the wall, bounce away, thus never coming back or coming back after a while, which gives it a, very, a, a, a false reading basically. So this is a huge step up for high accuracy measurement applications and it's just absolutely phenomenal. Now what's so cool about this, as you can tell it's 360 degrees, so it just scans out a flat plane here. Now if you wanted it to scan a fully 360 degree 3D uh, scan of such as a room or anything, all you would have to do is get yourself a servo, program it, and then you can have this spinning it around to however you want. It's, it's just, it's gonna be pretty crazy. So you'll have a nicely 3D sampled image of the room or the space that's around you, which is absolutely remarkable. All right guys, and that's gonna conclude it for my quick overview video of the RP LiDAR A1M8. So it's a pretty nice, well-built module here, and I can't wait to start using it and start developing for it. So stay tuned, and we'll be checking this out in the later days. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.